The Shockley Diode Our exploration of thyristors begins with a device called the four-layer diode, also known as a PNPN diode, or a Shockley diode, after its inventor, William Shockley. This is not to be confused with the Shockley diode, that two-layer metal semiconductor device known for its high switching speed. A crude illustration of the Shockley diode, often seen in textbooks, is a four-layer sandwich of P and PN semiconductor material. Unfortunately, this simple illustration does nothing to enlighten the viewer on how it works or why. Consider an alternative rendering of the device's construction in figure below. Shown like this, it appears to be a set of interconnected bipolar transistors, one PNP and the other NPN, drawn using standard schematic symbols and respecting the layer doping concentrations not shown in the last image. The Shockley diode looks like this figure below. Let's connect one of these devices to a source of variable voltage and see what happens. With no voltage applied, of course, there will be no current. As voltage is initially increased, there will still be no current because neither transistor is able to turn on. Both will be in cutoff mode. To understand why this is, consider what it takes to turn a bipolar junction transistor on, current through the base emitter junction. As you can see in the diagram, base current through the lower transistor is controlled by the upper transistor, and the base current through the upper transistor is controlled by the lower transistor. In other words, neither transistor can turn on until the other transistor turns on. 